ist die erste groß angelegte Kolonisierungsmission überhaupt. Wir schreiben Geschichte. So we're sitting here to talk about a new alien movie directed by the guy who did the very first one. So what is your personal connection to Ridley Scott's classic from 1979? Well, I saw the chestburster scene first when I was 10 and it really traumatized me. So I didn't watch the whole movie until I summoned the courage somewhere around 25. I watched it maybe when I was about 10 and it was one of those films that definitely sat with me. And um, I, I remember clearly when I, when I saw it and the environment that I w watched it in. So yeah, it definitely made a mark. I saw it uh, when it came out and um, it scared the living daylights out of me. I don't think I had ever seen anything as disturbing and um, ingenious as that alien creature. I was totally terrified and blown away by it. And then I just found myself attracted to it, drawn to it again and again over the years. Sind Sie sich sicher, Captain? Was meinen Sie? The Xenomorph is arguably the scariest movie monster ever created, but do you think it still holds up today? Is it still scary? I think so. I think it's such a, um, a, 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 a provocative figure and, you know, image. Uh, it's, it's beautiful and it's quite sort of, in some ways, repulsive. There's a very sort of sexual element to it and there's a very... Uh, primal element to it. And I suppose because it doesn't have eyes as well, or they're not evident to, you can't really see them, there's something um, spooky about that, like cockroaches. How oh, was it for you to have an actual xenomorph on set and working with it? We had, we had these great physical performers that were suiting up and giving us some li real live aliens. And it was amazing to see what what those those props guys in the art department created. They're so they're such incredible artists. But I didn't want to look too much because I wanted to stay surprised by the by the creatures. So I didn't I didn't look too often. You you were awed by the ingenuity that went into creating such a lifelike uh, and realistic foreign being. I mean, it was that was badass. <laughs> Alien Covenant really feels like an alien movie not only because the title says so and although you did Prometheus before this seems to be the film where you are really returning to your own mm -hmm. baby so how does that feel like? Um, uh, honestly great fun it's great fun to do that uh, but it's a challenge because to make people really frightened is very tough it's tricky. Easy to make people laugh. To really get the heart started is a tough process. It's hard work. And but by being a hard R, it helps me to go into places that I couldn't go in if I was PG. They say make it frightening. I said, I can't make it frightening if it's PG. I think when I watched the movie uh, that it is pretty gory and much of it seemed to be made with practical effects. So uh, let's be honest. How messy was the set? <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of one to 10, a definite 10. It was disgusting. So much of it was disgusting. And, uh, and Ridley loved that. He absolutely, he would come in, you know, there'd be some severed head somewhere and he'd go, ah, oh, come take a look at this. Yeah, it's beautiful, right? Disgusting, but beautiful. It's a Victorian, disgusting, but beautiful, right? And he could not get enough of it. Um, and so, uh, you know, that we were often covered in blood or some other kind of matter. What's most frightening, getting face sucked, g giving birth to an alien, or getting caught by a full grown one? I'll take uh, being caught by the fully grown one, definitely. I don't like the face sucking scenario or I mean, if you get face hugged, you get burst. So they kind of go in one. Well, face hugged, you, you're they. I remember from the first movie, they somehow are able to anesthetize you pretty quick, so you go to sleep, um, so you don't know what's really happening. The uh, giving birth, um, 
it seems like you'd be out of commission pretty quick. I mean, you're dead like that. I think the chest burst will always be the thing that freaks me out the most because it's the first thing I saw. But if you come face to face with that thing, you've at least got some time to worry about what's gonna happen. And that's the part that's the most scary, I think. Who is this? 